Hi everyone. So this week we start thinking about philosophers of education uh, in, a, in a real kind of like chronological way. And our first reading uh, is Plato. The, I gave you the allegory of the cave. And so this is a, a fun kind of thought experiment that, that Plato does where he has prisoners that are locked in a cave and they're facing the back of the cave and there's there's fire in front of them and, and there's or fire behind them and there's these people bring these these figures uh, that project shadows onto the wall in front of them and so they think that these figures are real that this is like their own reality and one of the, the prisoners gets taken out and he uh, the prisoner is is looking at the world and he's like this is more real than what I was seeing and he tries to go back into the cave and tell his fellow prisoners, hey, the, the shadows aren't real, this was real, but they don't believe them. So I have, I have one or two questions about this. So first, I want you to answer. So answer one of these two questions. First, uh, Plato through Socrates talks about the prisoner from the cave that gets to the world outside. That prisoner has immense trouble when they try to talk to their peers about what they have seen. Have you ever felt like your education has put a barrier between you and your peers who did not receive that education? Describe that experience. Two, uh, the second question that you might answer is, the freed, ex the freed prisoner experiences a lot of pain. When they see the fire projecting the images for the first time, when they go outside for the first time, when they go back into the cave, when they try to convince their fellow prisoners that what they are seeing isn't real, if the freed prisoner is an analogy, an analogy for the educated person, it seems like Plato and Socrates think education requires pain. Must education require pain? What is the teacher's role in mitigating this pain for their student if education in fact requires pain? All right, I look forward to your responses. And uh, as always, if, if you wanna stop by our Zoom hours, that's cool too. All right, so, have a great week. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you again Thursday.